Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another quick guide. And today we're going to be talking about how to unlock these two items right over here. So if we go with our hammer, these are called the charcoal uh, kiln and the smelter. So uh, what these two things do, first the charcoal kiln, um, it takes wood and it makes charcoal for you, right? It can take up to 25, as you can see right over here. And it will, over time, it's kind of fast, will make uh, coal for you. Now, coal is important because uh, the smelter requires coal to actually work. As you can see right here, it's full of 20 coal and you can add coal on this side. And then um, here, there's 10 item slots for um, ores, any type of ore, tin ore, copper ore, whatever you have. If it's in your inventory, you can add it, as you can see right here. And out of this side right here, will pop out the ore when it is done and it will come out looking like, let me just go right over here. Come out looking like one of these, one of these uh, pure bars, either copper or tin. Now, how do I unlock these, right? It's very simple. First, uh, I'm going to show you kind of like the video of how I unlocked it during my playthrough. But um, the thing you need is one of these. Where do you get one of these Sterling cores? You get it in any of the dungeons. I have a lot of dungeons over here on the map shown. And uh, they're called burial grounds. They usually have skeleton enemies. As you can see, they're all over the place. They're located in, in black forest regions. There's skeletons in there. And they're usually on this like little peg. Or like little uh, stick and on top of it you'll see the sterling core once you have the sterling core um, if you already have a hammer in your inventory currently uh, the the plan for the smelter and the kiln will pop up but if you do not have a hammer in your inventory when you get the sterling core go back to your base equip your hammer and you will get those two recipes so for me when I got it in the dungeon I didn't have the hammer equipped as soon as I got home uh, to, to this base right over here equip my hammer I got the two recipes so that's pretty much all you have to do. And um, as we can see real quick, they require uh, a lot of certain cores. You're gonna have to go to a couple of dungeons. Some dungeons only have one, some dungeons have 10. It's just really random, right? But there are a lot of dungeons. They're kind of hard to find, but not really. So you have um, five for this one and five for that one. And obviously you're gonna have to wanna make more in the future to get it a little bit better in terms of the, in terms of the uh, what do you call it? How fast you wanna produce and stuff. But that's pretty much how you do it, and I'm pretty sure one of these came out. Yep, as you can see, there's the bar. Pick that up, and there you go. Very simple, very easy. Hopefully this tutorial was uh, very simple, and um, now I'm going to show you how I got it in my playthrough. Enjoy, guys. We're here to do it. We got a dungeon. I don't know why it's so misty. It's weird, but alright, let's do it. <sighs> Burial chambers. Okay. <laughs> Elder. Just in case we die, what is this? Sultring core, okay. And we need another chest. Uh, charcoal and a smelter. Cool. 